Hi everyone, Professor Baldwin here to show you how to set up WebEx in your D2L course. From your D2L course homepage, navigate to the content area. To make it easier for your students to find, I suggest using a module titled WebEx or WebEx class. If you haven't already created a module for WebEx, do that now. From the module where you want to include that WebEx link, you need to click the Existing Activities button. Then select External Learning Tools. Now you need to click on WebEx Collaboration, and this will add the WebEx link into that module. Now click on that WebEx Collaboration link. The first time you click on that WebEx collaboration link, it may take a little while for it to load. And when it does load, you may be prompted with a different screen than you're seeing now. I've been in the WebEx collaboration before, so it didn't prompt me to change my settings right away. If that happens, you're just going to click on Setup. And now we need to choose the features that we want to include in our course. The first options we have are virtual meetings and office hours. Virtual meetings allow you, the instructor, to set up web conferencing meetings, either a one-time meeting or a recurring meeting. This is perfect for your synchronous class time. I don't use this feature for my online classes. I only use office hours. Office hours allows you, the instructor, to set a range of days and times when you are available to meet one-on-one -on -one with students. Students then go in and select a time they wish to meet with you, and it sends a WebEx invite to your email and the student's email. This is great because it creates the link for you, and the invite is labeled with the student's name and the course that they're in. Select the features you want, and then you click Apply. Now you need to select your time zone for your course. You can click in this box and just type the time zone that you're in. Once you find your time zone, click Save. Then the last setting is to authorize the LMS. You need to authorize your LMS so that it can synchronize between WebEx and D2L. My button is grayed out because I've already authorized this in one of my other courses. So once you authorize it in one course, you don't need to authorize it in the others. But remember that you do need to add that WebEx collaboration content tool to any courses you wish to have it available in. I put it in all of my courses and only select the features that I want for my online or my face-to-face -face courses. That's it for how to set up WebEx in your D2L course. The next step is to set up your virtual class time and office hours. Watch my WebEx for D2L virtual class and office hours tutorial for additional help. 